Hi everyone, I'm Lila from Little Beetle Chocolate and this is the last, the sixth episode of my mini video series introducing the makers within the Taste Better Chocolate Advent Calendar which is still on Kickstarter until 9th of October uh, at midnight European time. Uh, the project is already uh, fully funded uh, so that means that if you back to the campaign you will definitely receive your Advent Calendar or your Chocolate Taster Pack. If you haven't got yourself a calendar yet you still have a few days left um, to get yourself one and you can be sure that you will get it because the project is funded so cool news and so today i'm going to show you the last four makers included in the calendar uh, i've got uh, three european makers and one uh, which is from almost at the end of the world so let's start first one uh, for today is uh, Mikkel Friesholm from Denmark. Uh, Mikkel is known for his range of uh, bars uh, made from Nicaraguan cacao and he is one of the first or only ones who is concentrating on the different um, fermentation methods. So for example the bar that I had here was uh, a Chuno Nicaragua um, where they turned the beans um, three times during the fermentation and you can try the same bar uh, from the same beans and all the same recipe uh, where they only turn the beans twice during the fermentation and you get such a different result that it's just is mind blowing how different the two chocolate bars are, even though it's only that that's the only difference the, the number of turns uh, during fermentation. So, and he's got plenty of other bars like that where you can uh, kind of taste them side by side and, and learn about the differences that fermentation can, uh, can cause in the final flavor. Uh, and I'm really excited for the sample that we'll have from Mikkel inside the calendar. The second one for today is uh, from Sweden, Malmö Chocolate Fabric. And this is actually the sample that's gonna be inside the calendar because uh, funnily enough, I don't have an empty packaging from Malmö because I've only tried it, I think two years ago in London at the speciality fair where, um, that you can't buy chocolates so I couldn't buy from them uh, so I just tried it but I don't have a packaging so th this is actually the chocolate is going to be inside the calendar on the back it says what it is so I'm not going to show you the back um, they they have uh, quite a nice range of, of single origin bars and they're also quite well known for their flavored bars and I've tried their licorice bar which I was really tempted to get inside the calendar but I was worried that some people might not like licorice that much so we went with a, a, um, a plain single origin bar uh, to, to put in the calendar but if you like licorice definitely try that out because it's such a classic Scandinavian flavor and they've done it really well um, and they also have a pretty nice um, range of hot chocolates but that you can get in little cones and and the packaging is beautiful and and it's a very nice uh, company also 100% nut free and uh, allergen free so if you have any dietary problems um, they do use milk in their milk chocolates so it's not uh, vegan but not free, which is which can be a really problematic thing for um, not allergy sufferers. So uh, if you're looking to get something like that, then definitely check them out. Mm -hmm. Third one uh, is from Russia. Uh, Ventodoro is a company who specializes in bean to bar chocolates from around the world. They have, I think, ten different origins. Uh, and all of their bars are 70%. So they decided to go with the same recipe for all of their origins to be able to show you how different each terroir or origin can taste, even though um, it's the same amount of cocoa and sugar in their recipe. Uh, their packaging is beautiful, it's very elegant, uh, and they have small bars, like this is a mini bar, um, 20 grams 
um, they've done me a, ten, uh, a five gram uh, squares into the calendar, but you can basically get uh, all kinds of different uh, uh, sizes and you can get the full range. Uh, uh, it's, it's beautifully packaged and, and you can really taste the different terroirs in their, in their bars and they're super lovely people. So definitely check them out if you, if you happen to find their chocolate somewhere. And last but not least, the last one uh, is Alan Makers from Vanuatu. And funnily enough, they were the first ones to uh, send me their, their chocolates. So sorry for putting you last, but that's just how it came in my random uh, list. Um, so Alan is actually a maker uh, using only uh, cocoa from Vanuatu. Vanuatu is actually not one island but it's several different islands so i don't know if you can see there's the little colored patches are actually the uh, islands so they have a range of single origin bars made with cacao from each different um, island uh, with the same uh, percentage uh, 70 percent so so that you can taste how different each island tastes which is amazing, I think. And they also have a, a variety of flavored bars with spices and inclusions. Uh, so I'm really excited for you to try this because uh, it's not available in many places and I'm so happy to have them. Uh, I've tried them in Paris last year uh, at Cossack. Um, so I even got a, my bar packaging is... Uh, um, signed by one of the makers who was delivering to to Cossack so it's, it's pretty amazing um, and they're super helpful and and uh, such a nice company so uh, I'm really excited for you to try one of their bars uh, I'm not gonna tell you which island there is in the calendar but that's a surprise so can't wait so there we go, I've showed you all 24 makers included in the Taste Better Chocolate Advent Calendar. I didn't tell you which chocolate they will put inside, so that's a secret until the 1st of December and all the upcoming days of December. Uh, we will open our calendars uh, together, I will share with you mine uh, each day on Instagram and on my other social channels um so thanks for uh thanks for watching and thanks for all your support thanks to anyone who backed the campaign supported me by sharing it with their friends and families uh thanks for all your messages i'm i've been really blown away by the amazing and positive support and and feedback that you that you gave me um I still can't believe that it's funded, so, so I'm so happy. And yeah, so I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And and let's see what's, what's coming up until the 9th of October. Uh, thanks for watching and have a chocolatey day.